from a visualization perspective, Microsoft has done a lot of work to make sure that the insights are a key component. It's great to be able to get the data, but as many business analysts will attest, simply having access to the data isn't in and of itself an insight. Really, realistically, you need to massage the data, you need to map it, you need to track it, you need to chart it. Once you build those charts up with Power View, it's much easier to see what the insights are. And that's the goal of any good business analyst, is to get to the point that that long table of numbers actually provides a compelling narrative. Uh, you don't have to be Edward Tufte to appreciate the fact that when you see a chart with a line going up from left to right, you understand that that means growth. And it's very easy to see that. But to be able to identify that growth in a, in a long, dense uh, table is tough. And that's where PowerView can help you build it out. Some of that data is geographical. And we'll go over the new feature called Power Map that actually ties an entirely visual environment to the data that you have. This could be sales data from CRM. It could be customer service data. It could be uh, positive reviews on Twitter. You name it. As long as you have a geographical component to your data, you can use Power Map to visualize that on a globe, on a single state level, or even a custom map. You could be visualizing a Wi-Fi strength signals or a campus map of your environment and where heat is being used. All of that is capable through the Power Map plugin. 